జంతువుల మలమూత్రాలను సేంద్రియ ఎరువులుగా మార్చి పంట భూముల్లో వాడటం ఇప్పుడిప్పుడే విస్తృతమవుతోంది ఇదే సమయంలో మానవ మలమూత్రాలను శుద్ధి చేసి ఎరువుగా మార్చే ఆలోచన కూడా ఆరంభమై ఆచరణ సాధ్యమైంది అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటివ్ స్టాఫ్ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా నిర్వహణలో మిలిందా బిల్గేట్స్ ఫౌండేషన్ సహకారంతో దేశంలోనే తొలి శానిటేషన్ రిసోర్స్ పార్క్ ఏర్పాటైంది రోజుకు పదిహేను వేల లీటర్ల సామర్థ్యమున్న శానిటేషన్ రిసోర్స్ పార్క్ వరంగల్లోని అమ్మవారిపేటలో ఎకరం విస్తీర్ణంలో నిర్మించడం జరిగింది శుద్ధి చేసిన నీటిని ఎరువులను అక్కడి మొక్కలకు ప్రయోగాత్మకంగా వాడి సానుకూల ఫలితాలున్నాయని రుజువు చేస్తున్నారు నిర్వాహకులు త్వరలోని పంట పొలాలకు వీటిని వినియోగించేందుకు ప్రయోగాలు ప్రయత్నాలు ముమ్మరం చేశారు విజయవంతంగా నడుస్తున్న ఈ రిసోర్స్ పార్క్ విశేషాలు తెలుసుకునేందుకు కృషి టీవీ టీం మీడియా ప్రతినిధులతో కలిసి అక్కడికి వెళ్ళింది పదండి శానిటేషన్ రిసోర్స్ పార్క్ ను మీరు చూద్దురు గాని here and uh, this is the process mail it is in a six, six stages so first when the vehicle enters and unloads the septage this is the screening unit uh, septage receiving station so we are having screening unit and grid chamber in screening unit floating particles and everything will be separated there and then it moves to the flows to the uh, grid chamber there we are uh, the grid and everything will be separated there so from here uh, most of the waste from the uh, septic holding tank uh, septic tank is separated here and the only septage is flowing we are treating so then it is going to the holding tank so which is what a, sort of uh, material you get yeah uh, uh, sanitary napkins shampoo shasher sometimes soap stones if we are having rings uh, te- uh, ring septic tank we used to get some stones mud and everything we used to get and then it is flowing to the holding tank so which is having 20000 liter capacity from there we are starting the actual treatment process from there we are sending it to the dewatering unit so first where the uh, solids and liquid separation happens so then water is flowing to the pasteurization unit so we are heating the water up to 85 degrees centigrade to kill the bacteria and uh, to make the water uh, bacteria free so then we are sending into the water into the water treatment plant so it is this uh, one so this one this is a liquid solid separation what is this pasteurization when we drink milk <coughs> we cannot drink fresh milk it is not good sometimes we drink but it also has some bacteria pathogen so in all the milk production unit first day pasteurized milk so it is pasteurized waste so it is being heated so then we are sending it to the water treatment plant so uh, we are using packet sewage treatment plant technology so after the treatment we are getting the treated water and then the solids uh, we are uh, sending solids to the dryer which reduces the moisture percentage in the dryer so then uh, it is to, why we are reducing moisture is to easily burn in the pyrolyzer so uh, after drying of the solids we are sending it to the pyrolyzer so in pyrolyzer we are burning solids from 500 to 700 degrees celsius in between and we are getting the biochar as a out product so here we are using the uh, uh, pyrolyzer energy to the pasteurization and then to dryer so we are not wasting the energy from what we are getting in the pyrolyzer so we are reusing it so we are not using any additional electricity for uh, dryer and pasteurization same energy we are uh, using for the uh, three equipment you can see that uh, equipment so when the vehicle enters here just we used to put that uh, uh, clamp to that vehicle and that's it they, uh, so the unloading happens here and this is the screening unit and this is it so in screening unit the floating particles like uh, you can see here these are the floating particles what we get in this one and sometimes we used to get uh, sanitary napkins towels uh, uh, everything in this way waste will be separated here So this is the this is the sort of waste we are getting in the screening unit. Okay. So this is the grid chamber where the uh, we are having this baffle uh, type technology. So the so, uh, silt and everything will be uh, settled down and the sl- septage is flowing to the holding tank. Okay. So from holding tank we are uh, uh, sending it to the dewatering unit. Will go. Septage from the holding tank. Uh, this is the dewatering unit. This separates water and uh, solids from the uh, separate. And uh, septage from holding tank is coming from here. And it is uh, we are adding polymer for easy separation of solids and liquids. So then this is the mixing chamber. Both septage and polymer mix in this mixing chamber. You can come in now, please. Yeah. 
so uh, after mixing this one the sepies is going to this and water is uh, it is just a basic uh, screw uh, screw is inside it so the screw squeeze out the water from the sepies so water is going to the pasteurization unit and the solids are coming to the dry directly to the dryer so you are saying this is like a screw yes ma'am inside there is screw okay so uh, it squeezes out the water okay so the water is going to the pasteurization unit slowly it is moving so solids are directly going to the dryer mm -hmm. from here like this okay okay so there is no smell no ma'am how come the smell is moving in the beginning yes no it is already digested in that uh, uh, holding the septic tank only in the house sure. only we are sure. getting uh, more than uh, Two or three years, it is digested there only. Oh, and yes. if we are that's why. That's okay. Yeah. In our plant also, we in holding tank only the sep uh, the smell uh, there is no smell in the only when the we, uh, there is unloading then we used to get some smell. That's it. <laughs> so from here, uh, the water is going to the pasteurization. This is pasteurization. So uh, these are heat tube exchange plates. So we are getting uh, hot. We are using that pyrolyzer uh, energy here. So uh, energy means hot water mark. So it enters this one, and uh, the water which enters the dewatered water. So it uh, heat exchange will happen there in these tubes, and then it will get heated like that. So uh, the wa dewatered water will be heated up to eighty five degrees centigrade, and then we are sending it to the uh, uh, packet sewage treatment water treatment plant. <laughs> So again, we are using this energy to the dryer again. So suppose we are getting from pyrolyzer 90 degrees of water, we are getting. So here we are, it is losing it uh, uh, some uh, 65. It is getting to the uh, dryer. Why is the color black? It used to be black. It is digested, no ma'am. Ah, okay. The septa used to be like this only. Fresh septa is only. We used to look like in uh, yeah, that color. Okay. This is mixing. Uh, here we are mixing it, and we are sending it to the dryer. This is the dryer. So it takes forty-five minutes to one hour to reach the end. So here we are having two fans. So uh, this is the radiator. These are the hot tube, uh, hot water uh, uh, circulators. So these fans are the normal atmospheric air from the top, and the uh, the air passes through this radiator. It gets heated, and then it is passing through the belt. So like that, it is getting dry. Hot, hot air is getting uh, dry. This fan. So if we are having any order or something, we are having uh, uh, air filter, uh, LO1 air filter. So in that we are filtering activated carbon. If we are having anything, it will be order will be observed there. If we are having any order in the solids. What kind of sticks are on the oven? अभी सॉर्ट एस्ट तो मतलब फायर से जब मैं इजी का बंद चेंज ना कैलोरी भी पाली है तो वही बता रही कि अभी मिक्स चेस का मन मारता मालूम जस्ट अभी उड़न फोटो चेक का फोटो अंडा हम कर रहे हैं दानी एक्स चेस तरीके का दानी मिक्स चेस का मार्केट है ऑपर लोने मिक्स एक फोटो मन मारता था तो इजी का बंद ना
This is the biochar we are getting. So from from morning we got that much only. If we uh, suppose oh. we have treated 200 kg of uh, ah. septes, we got this much only the biochar. Okay. The quantity is also reduces. This is the final product. So here we are having with uh, four chamber. First is the anaerobic zone. So if this, uh, the water enters here and if you are having any small particles or anything in the septic, they used to be settled here only. So then the water flows to the anaerobic zone. In an anaerobic, uh, anaerobic zone, the denitrification happens and the nitrogen will be released to the atmosphere. So then it is going to the aeration. In aeration, we are using uh, air blowers and we are uh, uh, one media is there. So it uh, it kills the bacteria if we are having any bacteria or anything. So then it is going to sedimentation. In sedimentation, if we are having any organic waste, it directly automatically comes to the anoxic zone. So after that, we are getting the water to that white tank, and after that, we are uh, treating in pressure sand filter and activated carbon filter. So pressure sand filter uh, it is for uh, order remover or uh, uh, maybe some particles are uh, we used to be removed there and if we want we can do chlorination also there so after that we are getting the treated water so we are using so the that treated water, water you are using yes ma'am so if you want to get more water would you give it out yes ma'am sure. have people asked you for it no no ma'am but most of it has is all lemon yes but if sorry to disturb you, we'll go to the next. Sludge is coming, coming there. Coming from there, it gets cleaned. Yes. Then from here, it comes to this tank where we are doing two processes. One is homogenization of the mixture, and second, we are doing the uh, recirculation. And this process takes about half an hour to the, uh, 40 minutes. That's it. And from here, then it goes to uh, our static mixture where we do the flocculation in line. We're doing an in line flocculation. There's no time for flocculation. That we can go and see inside uh, waste from the tank and this is then passes through this system this is called the polymerization unit or we call it the flocculation unit which is in line so this is the dosing unit so when the sludge the sludge flows into this it is being dosed by the polymer and then in, in is there specific quantity and solution so it passes through this and becomes completely flocculated. Can you just tell me what, what you mean by polymer? Yes, I will tell you. It's a small uh, polymer, is a chemical kind of a thing which helps to bind. Now when you see a solid, it is open, like so it needs to bind. We have some pictures outside, we'll show you how it looks. So the solid and liquid will separate. All the, it is an iron which binds all the solids in one, like a ball and it will separate the water out. So just like if you remember how we do a curdling of paneer. So we add, what do we add in that? We add citric acid or a lemon. So that acts as a polymer actually in that. So okay. that's a natural organic polymer. Here this is an inorganic polymer. So that uh, particular citric acid will separate <coughs> the proteins and the liquid, liquid out, the way out. So same thing happens here. So the liquids will get separated and the water will flow through this. And this gives them time to create that uh, time, you know, you need some time for the thing to happen, the flocculation to happen. So that will happen here. And from here, it is pumped directly into the geobags. Where, again, again, when we strain the paneer, how it happens, the water will come down in solid. Same process happens there. The solid will be retained in the geotube bags and water Since will be flowing out. So she always sees a paneer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we have been to explain actually. Yeah. Everybody understands that. So these are the polymer mixing union tanks where we keep it pre-prepared. It's in liquid form, we prepare it and it is dosed according to the quantity we require based on the size of the particles. So that every day we check. We do a checking every day. <laughs> yeah. So when the water after that, there is a water that separates out. So the water will separate into two parts, solid and liquid. So the liquid is stored in one tank where again we pull it up and then we do carbon and sand filtration where the color and odor is removed of the water. And then we do the UV where the dis disinfectant happens. And then it is stored and then reused. So we are reusing, so we have almost recycled 250 meter tube of water.
so that in four months, that much of water we have used, you can see our garden also is green. So that we have used, we have generated almost uh, 112 trucks we have uh, created in last four months. Yes. Just four months. It's not enough to stop. Is collected in this channel. Mm. It is go. Oh, it goes through the liquid treatment. Mm. It goes through. There is a holding tank where this water is. And how how is the solid taken out from this bag? We just slip it out. Sir. This is a solid. You cut it open. Cut it open. Yeah. Cut it open. And then they are creating a market. Again, this bag is usable or waste? No, this bag is not they usable. They but this is a polypropylene okay. which is going to go for recycling. So this is a starting at the time of the truck comes. Stage one, stage two, stage three. This is the raw sludge that comes, it looks like this, mm. absolutely thick. When we add the chemical conditioning, when we do, it becomes like this. This is a paneer. Yeah, <laughs> curdled paneer. Curdled paneer. So after this, when it goes to the geotube, we get this kind of a water. From the geotube? And from the filtration, we get this. So before putting it in into the bag, you add chemical? Yes, it has to be conditioned too. So separate. that the thick type separation, separation happens. happens. Then it becomes easy. Mm. Yes. It's called chemical conditioning. There's no chemical as such. It is a it cationic polymer uh, acrylamide uh, thing, so which just binds. <coughs> now the question that space. comes up, ma'am, you are the scientist. What is there in this? NPK. Sir. NPK. No, no we got it checked. Yes. Okay. We have done with uh, life science results plans. done. There's no virus. There is no pathogen, and it is a very high in NPK. Which is, makes it a very she added, asked a question. directly added to the soil. So, if I give you an example, uh, leech, leech pit has been, or the twin pit toilets have been there since ages, and the government is promoting. And they call it that gold ukta hai wahan pe. You can see that uh, Akshay Kanna is also, uh, Kumar is also giving that gold sona ugra hai. This is that sona. This is that gold. Have you tested this for a percentage of NPK? Uh, madam, yes. where is that NPK? NPK Are report, you? madam. NPK. <laughs> And will people accept it? Yes. Percentage yeah. of NPK I am asking. 1 is to 5 is to 1, sir. Okay. It is as per the compost uh, standards. Thank you. So, how do how you think? We, now, uh, sir, we, we, have, we will give an environment. Thing, no? yeah. Yeah. Just see. So, the Seems structure no? hmm. is pretty porous. Hmm. What I have got demand from farmers is hmm. in 90% of uh, vermicompost hmm. and 10% because it is having very rich NPK. They want to mix in. They want to mix. So people have come forward to try it out in their farms. From here we have a plant in about 70 kilometers in Aler. So we are going to send this there in a day or two. And then this, because this is a very big block, so we are going to make it a pulverized kind of a thing. And then give it to them to try. So in our own farm we have made four uh, this thing, where in a half an acre we are going to use this. Without any vermicompost and all. So this is there, it is actually being used, there is no harm in it. It is the same thing what we are doing like in our twin pit latrines. They are saying if you leave it for two years it becomes a compost, it is the same thing. Just the process is done outside. So it is ready to use? Yeah, ready, ready to use. use. No more Absolutely. treatment required? Not no more required. How much? I mean. So that, that is one part of it where we can readily use it uh, like you know for the... <coughs> Sorry. This 100% we are using this water only sir. No outside water. No. Yeah. Only this recycled water we are using. Madam, tell them about your plantation. Uh, and we have planted a lot of uh, fruit trees here. So if you can see. This is for food security. Four, four months back we planted. This is for food security assessment. Very important. So this four months, before only we have planted, this is yes, uh, that, uh, what is that, anar. anar. And we have, so we hope that in so another one year we will have. this in this? Yes, we are yes. using this water only, sir. Water and of course we are going to start using that. At also. this young age, it is started flowering. Yes, yeah. just four months. see the growth. Then we will go for analysis okay. for the fruit also. Very nice. So let us see. Yes. Leem tree we have done. Mango we have put. Yes. Yes. Badam. 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 Plant is completely for research, yeah. and we are going to be here two years. Okay. And we are going to completely monitor what we are doing here. We are using basically hardly any electricity here. We have till now only used 500 uh, units of electricity. That's it. Within five months. Yeah. Within five months. Yes. It's operated only by two people. Only two people are operating. So very very low cost and easy deployable system. Very highly scalable system. We can scale it any time you want. Yeah, please.